Great to have you guys checking out our little promo video for Creole North one day. I'm Jeff. This is my friend Melody. Um, and we are just pretty excited, honestly, just to pull together people, relationships, you guys, into a shared space for a day together here in Alexandria, Minnesota, mm -hmm. being able to develop friendships, just have some fun together, process some key questions about discovering and kind of recalibrating our lives to the heart of Jesus for our communities, what's on his heart, what's on the heart of Jesus. Could we hear that? Could we listen for that? And then follow suit, whatever he's calling us to do. That doesn't have to be a program or starting your own nonprofit or being this big splash in the pan. It could just be our own lives, our own families, the relationships that we have every single day where we live, work, and play. So we're so excited to gather together I'm going to ask Melody here to share her heart in a bit, just for the one day in our Creole North crew. Um, yeah. But Melody, uh, what would you say as far as your heart, just pulling alongside people, caring deep, deeply for people, especially mm -hmm. the, creators, the, the other coaches, people who are deeply involved in ministry. Could you just share your heart for 30, 40 seconds and why people should come to Alexandria on Saturday, the 21st? Well, I think, I think it, it would be good to start with a shared experience. And sometimes we're asked, what are you dreaming about? And you don't really know what you're dreaming about, but you know there's something bugging you that there's got to be more to this than what's happening right now. And it's like this niggling and you can't really, it's an itch that you can't really scratch and it's kind of confusing. And it's kind of unsettling. And that's a lot of times that's what God is starting with is just to get you a little unsettled. And um, sometimes he'll give you a big dream and a vision, but a lot of times it's just like, he's just going to move you to the next place. And, um, and that moving to the next place can sometimes be lonely and intimidating and confusing. And, and then if there's somebody else that is comes alongside of you that says, you know what? I've been having that same feeling that God wants me to do something else, but I don't exactly know what it is or how to do it. And that's where coaching starts. We tend to look at coaching as top down. Like there's some authority figure, there's some superhero yeah. in your life, and then you're <laughs> the grasshopper that's learning from them. But I think we in the kingdom of Jesus are just walking shoulder to shoulder. And one person may have a little more experience in an area or have just studied a little deeper or God has revealed something to them. And then you just pass it along. And yeah. I think that the Creo one day is really that about like, can, the kingdom is full of connecting the dots and we're all dots. And the things we're supposed to be doing is another dot. And so by doing this, just a whole bunch of dots come together and, um, and yeah. things start, the picture starts to really come to life. And then we kind of go off in our own directions and, um, and then we stay connected, but we also disperse. So I think that yeah. would be part for a Creo one day. Yeah. I love what you said about people making those connections. And I know Miss Sarah Bowl has always been a huge, um, I don't know, just connection maker. We've done different things locally where if we don't have the shared space, you can't make the connection. And so Sarah, I know you are um, kind of part of our crew here. How would you say it, Sarah? Why, why, in your estimation, Sarah, why should people make it Saturday, January 21st to this Creole one day? How would How'd you describe your passion for those connections and that coaching and the come alongside stuff to happen? Yeah, I guess for me, I feel like what God has really been stirring in my heart is that um, we don't need to be an expert. We don't need to be seminary trained or, or some, you know, huge anointing um, having happened, but that we're all called and we're all gifted that the Lord wants to use us all uniquely and, and that we all have a purpose in the kingdom. And um, what I love about Creo and what I, I love about um, the two day we had and, and what you guys are gonna talk about in the one day is 
um, really like what is that that God has called you individually to do? Where do you fit in the kingdom with your gifting? And, and how, can, how can we come alongside of each other? How can we support people in that? What kind of coaching do you maybe need from someone who's already been there? Um, or where can you use your gifts to help somebody who just, you know, for the first time is stepping out mm -hmm. and taking that risky step or, mm -hmm. um, you know, doing something different than they've ever done before. Um, I just love to be a catalyst for people, mm -hmm. um, you know, when they're answering that call, whatever that looks mm -hmm. like. And yeah. um, I, I, I think that's the, the best part about mm -hmm. bringing people together from throughout the state is like people are doing amazing amazing mm -hmm. kingdom work um and a lot yes. of times you just don't know about it so it's yeah. so cool to come together and get to hear what the lord is doing what if sarah what if my calling is to have eat chinese food with people the great hunan what if that's my calling that is an amazing <laughs> calling you will find others who love chinese and who love people who love chinese <laughs> okay i'm just i'm just checking to see if i fit in so <laughs> Oh, you can take my husband. He loves it. <laughs> there we go. That's my new mission. So, <laughs> so if you're listening to these awesome ladies and just kind of feeling a passion to come together with creators, dreamers, people who inspire others with other ideas, just come and hang out. There's there's no like membership roster. Just come and be with us. But we do need to know you're coming. So uh, look at the link below in the comments, creocollective.org backslash create, and then it'll say Creo North one day. We'd love to have you guys just to build some great relationships in Minnesota, around the region. Ladies, thanks so much for playing the game with me today. It's been fun to have you. Love you guys. Peace. Okay. Bye. Peace out. Bye.